Hi guys, this is one of those videos that I guess I'm going to tell you a little secret about myself. <sighs> the title of this video is Living Like a Hoarder. First of all, I'm not a hoarder, <laughs> but once you see my sewing quilting room, you'll probably think that I am. First off, let me explain this. Now, when we built this house several years ago, well, it's been four or five years ago, I guess, maybe six. I don't know. Um, we built it ourselves, and uh, my husband, um, my boys, and me, uh, we worked hard building this house. But anyway, the only thing I asked for when we built the house was my own sewing room, a large kitchen, and, you know, enough bedrooms for all of us. So I ended up with four bedrooms, a large kitchen, and my sewing room is the largest room in the house. And uh, actually it measures 20 by 24. Uh, it's upstairs. And during the summer, I don't sew up there. Um, it's just too hot. We don't have the air up there yet. And I've seen it, not this past summer because the heat wasn't that bad, but um, summer before last was over 100 degrees up there. Um, so I don't sew... I don't sew up there during the summer, and everything tends to get piled in that room. Um, so at this point, it's been, let's see, this is January of 16, so it's been the winter of 14 since I've actually sat down and sewn up there, I guess. Um, I think, actually, I quilted a quilt maybe in the spring of 15. Uh, on my domestic sewing machine, but I'll explain all that once we get up there. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, like uh, as I was saying, everything gets piled in that room. Um, you know, company comes, um, you know, pick things up, and you run it upstairs and pile in that room. You know, boxes, um, st everything, especially during the holiday season. <clears throat> we had Christmas dinner here at my house. And I think total there was like 23 of us. And, um, you know, my house is never like spotless. But uh, it's clean and it's lived in. Except for that room. <laughs> um, yeah, that room is, like I said, it looks like a hoarder lives here. And uh, I, can't, I can't use it. I can't sew up there. I can't quilt. Um, there's a path that you can walk through that I can get to the ironing board. Um... That's about it. And as I said, uh, during Christmas, everything got piled up there. You know, boxes and <laughs> bags and just, it's just horrible. Uh, I will take you up there <clears throat> and show you what it looks like. But, um, what I, my plan is, is to, um, it's an open loft, okay? Like right now, I'm sitting in my living room. Uh, and it's open loft upstairs. Uh, like I said, it's 20 by 24. Uh, the ceiling in the, the center is a 12 foot ceiling. It's a rather large room. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but the way it is right now, um, you can't see all of my junk. Um, we don't have our banisters up in the house. Like I said, our house is not finished. Uh, we are living in it, and we're just doing it as little as we can. Um, but what you can see right now is, um, I'll turn the camera around in just a few minutes, but you can see like the back of the couch. I'm looking up there if you're wondering why I'm looking off. Uh, the back of the couch, there's a little side table and a couple sewing machines and an antique, uh, ironing board that you can see from the living room. Well, beyond that is the mess. So my plan is, now this is my plan, so I'm going to try to stick with it since I'm videoing. So, maybe this will help me get it done. Um, I have adult ADD. I do not medicate for it. I just try to deal with it on a daily basis. And usually, my mind bounces from one thing to another constantly. Um, and it's almost a running joke in the family of, um, you know, I'll get in the middle of something and then I'm off doing something else. My husband says, I thought you was doing laundry, and I was like, oh, yeah, you know, so they tease me about seeing squirrels all the time, 
because my, I cannot concentrate on anything hardly. But my plan for the sewing room is, is I'm going to start and just clean one section at a time, like the couch up there, for example. The couch is loaded down with papers and books and sewing stuff and who knows what's on it. So I may take like that section and clean that section, um, a certain area in the floor that's piled up, I'll clean that. Um, my tables, there's a computer desk and a 12 foot uh, quilting, machine quilting frame up there. And it's just, the floors are piled, it's, it's, it's bad. But I'm just gonna take one section at a time and um, try to get it clean. So right now, I'm going to actually, I think I'll take the camera and uh, show you the angle from the living room and what you can see. Like I said, our, our home's not finished, so you will see some unfinished woodwork there. And I don't have the banisters, but it's all good. <laughs> so let's get this started. And also, before I, before I turn the camera off, my plan is, um, as I video each section that I do, uh, this will probably be a several part series um, until I get this done. And I'm hoping that the, the videos will hold me accountable and get this mess cleaned up. So I'm going to turn you off for just a second. I'll turn the camera around and show you uh, the view from here. And then we'll go upstairs. <sighs> go upstairs and um, show you my deep dark secret. <laughs> okay, I'm in the living room. Uh, right now the same place I was sitting as I was videoing the first section and I look up to my right and this is what you see um, you can see there is the antique it's like a chair mm, was it a chair step ladder ironing board a sewing machine cover antique sewing machine cover sewing machine lamp table <coughs> and the couch <coughs> excuse me now, so that's all you can see from here, but once you get past that, it's horrible. By the way, if you're wondering about the sewing machines, I collect older sewing machines, and I think I have like 28 of them right now. But anyway, let me turn this off, and I'll, we will go upstairs and uh, get started. Okay, here we are upstairs. I told you it was horrible. Looks like a hoarder, <laughs> a hoarder home. Um... As I mentioned, it hasn't. I haven't really used this room, um, really, since um, what winter of 2014, early part of 15, and everything's just brought up here and piled, and um, yeah, it's horrible. It's a very nice, usable space when it's all cleaned and organized. So that's my plan is one section at a time so let's get started right here as soon as you come off the stairs is the couch <coughs> excuse me um we have these are some like gifts that i got on clearance i'll probably end up giving my niece some bubble yeah bubbles and there's a quilt top that needs quilted, um, calendars, bingo, a ton of papers, books, who knows. <clears throat> it just all needs to be sorted. Um, in the floor, around the couch, uh, we have this laundry basket full of, uh, this is stuff that I take when I teach my hexagon classes. Um, I teach the grandmother's flower garden quilt class quilt classes in our local community. <coughs> this is the basket I usually take with me because it's got all of my examples and tools and everything in that. Um, there's another big giant thing of bubbles. The lighting right now is not too hot in here. Bubbles, um, latch hook kits, um, puzzles, burlap, tote bags I have no idea uh, a basket of fabric bags and boxes um, just 
junk boxes all around the coffee table. Um, baskets, books. Oh, just bits and pieces of everything. <coughs> um, let's make over here. This is my <laughs> bookshelf that I um, have fabric stored on. My fabrics, as you can see, it straightened up a little. The dust. Oh, this is embarrassing, but I'll show you. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, my. Um, quilt top. It needs quilted of mine. One of my favorites. Let me throw this on the couch. Gift bags. Quilt tops. More fabric. Connects toys. <clears throat> that belongs to my son. Fabric. Looks like a partial roll of Christmas paper. Who knows? Fabrics and tubs and buckets. Boxes. It's a bag of trash. Drawers with scraps. This is going around the room. All that stuff is underneath my cutting table. My cutting table has little tubs of fabric and pieces, quilting pieces, um, a printer, actually I think that's my sister's printer, I, need to, I don't know, I'm not sure why that's still here, um, DVD players, oh, my big jar of buttons, it's huge, Let's see a few dead ladybugs, <laughs> oh, and walk around the cutting table we have more fabric if I don't break my neck here um, more fabric DVDs pictures just who knows my TV my clock <clears throat> um, bolts of fabric um, this is my fat quarter storage that's dusty um, this is my sewing table let's see if I'm going to step back here to show you more of that this is my cutting table um, it's a little taller a little higher than the sewing table uh, then you come around and this is my sewing table with one sewing machine on it um, I don't know. you just see all the junk underneath these tables is tubs, bins, fabric, just everything. Um, I don't know, this is like a art stuff that my nephews actually use now sometimes. Boxes, I mean need those to put some stuff in. Who knows? <coughs> There's a sewing machine in a box. Um, this is a 1906 singer song machine cabinet. The machine's in there, but it's just folded down. Um, a tote with uh, Christmas stuff that I got on um, clearance that uh, I'll save for next year. This is the ironing board, and underneath it, show the floor there's just trash just junk <clears throat> this is the center of the room yay let me step over here so we can go over this um, get back over here um, this is okay this is the coffee table where I was a few minutes ago and this is next to it now we have well look at the dust on that I'm so embarrassed. I'm so ashamed of myself. Um, yeah. Boxes. And I don't even know what's in this. Oh, it's my pantos, my designs for my quilt frame. Uh, my quilting machine. Oh, yeah. I'm losing quilts that I've quilted um, that needs binding, bits and pieces of leftover blocks um, 
this is just this is on my quilting frame right here see my quilt machine back there it's, it hasn't been running right and I got aggravated and just said forget it so I need to try to work on that if I don't break my neck or stepping on stuff uh, get that cleaned back up and working adjustment adjusted uh, here is another old ironing board that actually belonged to my husband's grandmother so I need to fold that up and move it put it away or display it somehow um, this is actually here is a Christmas gift for next year for my niece I'll show you that it just got through up here um, I got it on clearance it's got a hundred blocks mega blocks um, and she'll be like 20 months old next Christmas almost two so I figure she could probably play with those and enjoy those but there was a hundred of them look at it for like seven dollars um, also this is a box of I don't know, little coffee cups and stuff that I got on clearance um, bath sponges this that, and the other those are gifts you know in case I need a last-minute gift um, I don't know, boxes more quilt pieces bags fabric and as you can see underneath my quilt frame <coughs> I have totes that's all quilt stuff there um, a big tub of ribbons and stuff I make bows the big huge bows for my niece all the time my sister loves them and uh, so we make those or I make those um, empty Christmas um, you know the wrapping paper the centers of the Christmas paper um, actually this is a gift for my sister from my mom I need to wrap that actually and um, I know this is like almost the middle of January but my mom works away and uh, so we're getting ready to have Christmas with mom tomorrow which is Saturday and uh, my mom works away like a month at a time and here's what one two three three more sewing machines that I can see right off and oh and by the way I said I had 28 sewing machines and they all work too so I usually just switch them around and so on uh, this is stuff on top of the ironing board leftover Christmas paper a, a drawer that goes to a vanity which is in the exercise room and just junk you can see here there's just bags and paper um, now this is my design wall which is um, that foam insulation board with um, quilt batting cotton quilt batting wrapped around it uh, it's connected to the wall and that helps me if you're not a quilter I'll explain this um, I put up my quilt box up there and you know you kind of step back and see how it's going to look and all that stuff so um, I love this wall and see if I can get over here without breaking my neck um, this is ouch, a old desk computer desk as you can see it's piled with papers that I need to sort through that computer does not work um, this printer does this is actually the printer that we use but um, that desktop does not work and um, let me let me uh, stop the video for a second let me turn the overhead lights on over the quilt machine so you can see back in here a little better be just a second okay I'm back um oops I don't know why that zoomed in like that uh anyway this desktop doesn't work so I need to try to get my pictures and stuff off of it and just throw that away that printer is an old Dell printer it was a good one but I don't think it works I don't think and these are uh, the closet area storage areas up here in this room and uh, We didn't have the uh, we don't have the doors or anything like that on them yet. So I just had stuff stacked over there, but <clears throat> You can see there's boxes at one time. This was very organized very organized, but not for a long time <laughs> um, There's two more sewing machines there um, actually those work 
Um, I tried them out, but I need to uh, <coughs> clean them. They were bought at yard sales. Um, and I think, I think that's just a case, a cover, I think. I don't think there's a machine in that one. And if you look, here's my quilt machine. Oh, look. My hubby. Here's my Marine Corps picture. Yes, I need to put that in a frame. And put it, display it up on the wall. Um, did you look back through here? Yeah. <clears throat> this is, um, just drawers. Here is, um, those big foam pads that you walk on. I bought them. Never put them together. They just got thrown up here. Um, more tubs of quilt pieces. Um, this closet area, just a ton of things, ton of things. Um, yeah. Let me walk back around. Yeah, and this takes me back to the end table. Oh, if I can get off of this stuff. So, yeah, this is it, guys. It's bad. My big window. I love that window. When we uh, started building the house, I told Richard, I said, I want that window in my sewing room. And it's like a four foot wide and I think seven feet tall, something like that. That's huge. But anyway, you see a mess. So it's no longer a secret. Let me scoot back here. Oops, if I don't break my neck. Scoot back here so you can see it all again. So, again, my plan is one section at a time so I don't get overwhelmed with it. And um, hopefully I can get it done. Like I said, this will be a several part series. As you can see, it's not going to be an overnight. Uh, it's not going to be an overnight thing. I just need to come in with a big trash can and just start tossing, I think. Um... But anyway, yeah, you see it. So, maybe you all can clean with me, and I'll do some speed cleaning videos, uh, and get this cleaned up, and show you the after. And hopefully I can start sewing in this room again. I love to quilt, I love to sew, and um, I enjoy it. Let me get over here. Yeah, this is my actual work area that I work in and I sew and cut and all that yeah and uh, yeah kind of crazy but anyway yeah oh and that over there behind the couch and the uh, lamp area downstairs is the living room so Maybe you can get an idea of the mess that I'm looking at. And like I said, I'll do some speed cleaning videos and uh, we'll get this all cleaned up. And maybe I won't feel like I'm living like a hoarder.